Hi everyone, in this short video I will give my best to explain to you everything about UX in a very short and simplified way. You can feel free to pause the video here and check out everything that we will go through. Just keep in mind that if you have stayed during the entire video you will have a better knowledge about UX and will be able to more efficiently determine if this is for you or not in the last section. Ok, so let's start. UX also known as user experience, user experience design and only just experience design is the process of designing and improving the user interaction with a given web or digital product no matter if we're talking about an online store, mobile application or a complex web platform. The goal of UX is to make the product easier and simple to use to guarantee satisfaction and to increase user loyalty to it. Therefore, user experience design serves as groundwork for the creation of any kind of products regarding digital or not. If you search for UX, you most likely have heard UI design as well. This is because these two terms are often very used together and that's not a coincidence. UI stands for user interface. UX and UI go hand in hand in the creation of sites, mobile applications and other digital products because they actively take part in the various construction stages. Although Although nowadays people use one general term UI UX design, the two still remain very different and serve different roles. I will make sure to explain that in a more detail in the next video. So now let's see what a UI UX designer does on a regular basis. Some of their main activities include meeting with business stakeholders to understand business goals and strategy, conducting and analyzing user experience research, running workshops and creative sessions, designing wireframes and prototypes, running tests to validate designs and finally working closely with engineers to complete the product's overall appearance, feel and functionality. So broadly speaking, a typical day in the life of UX designer mainly depends on the user experience design process and on which stage they are currently. So, you might be asking yourselves, what is this UX design process? Well, the typical UX design process looks something like this. As you can see guys, we have 5 stages, the first of which is empathize. This is the research part, where UX designers observe and interview real users in order to learn what they can expect from a certain good or service, as well as any issues they might encounter. The research stage may sometimes involve competitor research to see what solutions are already on the market. The next two stages in the UX process are define and ideate. This is where the UX designer will firstly determine what concrete issue he or she will be resolving for the user and then come up with ideas for potential solutions and deciding which ones to carry forward into design and development. The fourth stage is where it becomes really interesting guys because now with taking into account all of the knowledge of the previous steps, UX designers can finally start making their ideas and solutions come into life. In this stage they will design wireframes, mockups and prototypes. And this is the stuff you will see on Dribbble or the first images which pop up when you type UI design in Google. The final stage is called testing. As the name states, this is where the final designs are tested in order to see if they are actually meeting the user needs and providing a positive experience. One very important key here to remember is that the UX process is not linear, it's rather iterative and it goes in a circle, which means it's never really complete. UX designers will offer a return to different stages in the process in order to keep on top of what their end users need and to continuously improve the product accordingly even once it's been developed and launched. In the end, what makes a good UX design product is determined by many UX factors. However, the main ones are first, usefulness. This determines whether the product or service fulfills the customer's want or need. Is it helping them achieve their goal? Then we have usability. Here it's determined how quickly and efficiently can someone do what they came to do. UX design will consider the number of clicks, server speed and even familiarity with the design. And the third factor is desire, according to which the product, service or application should be aesthetically pleasing and spark interest. If the product is usable and useful, that's one thing. But being also desirable can elevate the product's experience to a complete new level. UX designers use different tools depending on their current stage in the UX design process. For user research, some companies use Dovetail. For designing and prototyping, the most popular tools are Figma, Adobe XD and Sketch, supported by Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator, which are also used for creating custom graphical UI elements, icons and more. And finally for doing analytics, the main software used is Hotjar and Google Analytics. The UX design industry is one of the most rapidly growing industries in the world. It grows at the rate of 17% annually. According to latest statistics, the UX design sector is worth $180 billion and expected to grow up to $250 billion 
by 2024, the rapid growth of the digital world has created a large demand for UX designers who are able to use their skills to improve the way people interact with technology. According to Glassdoor.com, generally speaking, an average UX designer makes approximately $85,000 per year on average. Junior entry-level designers can make an average of $70,000 annually, while senior UX designers up to $100,000. However, similar to any other job, the salary of a UX designer might vary depending on their level of expertise, where they live, and of course, the size of the business they work for. So, having heard so much about UX, it's time to finally ask yourselves, is this for me? Well, here are some questions to ask yourself that can help you decide. The first question is, are you a problem solver? If you're the type of person who loves a good challenge, you'll probably enjoy this line of work because a key aspect of UX is finding innovative solutions to problems. Second, do you like working with people? Much of UX UI design is about understanding the needs of your user, so that's why it's important to be a people's person. If you enjoy working with others and possess strong communication skills, you're definitely off to a good start. And finally, do you have an eye for detail? Because UX designers are responsible for creating user interfaces that are both aesthetically pleasing and functional. So, attention to detail is a must. If you're the type of person who notices the little things, this could be the perfect career for you. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learned something new. You can like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more similar videos. And please leave a comment if you have any additional questions about UX, I would gladly like to help you guys out. Bye!